Happy morning, all of you. Happy morning. Okay. Today, we are going to learn a new lesson. Unit number five. Coordination compounds. Coordination compounds. Yeah, but the coordination combo. In the fourth lesson, we learn about the transition metals forms a coordination combo. Transition metal forms a coordination combo. We learn that. Now, this lesson, we are going to learn about the transition combo. Sorry, coordination combo. What is about the coordination combo? Here, first, we should be, we should be learn about that. Coordination compound and also the double salt. What is about the coordination compound and what is about the double salt? When two or more compounds in a solution are mixed together, okay, when two or more stable compounds, we are taking the stable compound solution, are mixed together, we get one, uh, coordin one coordination compound and also we get a double salt. What is about the double salt? For example, what is about the double salt? We also learn potassium, one of the double salt. We are taking more salt, potassium, okay, double salt. More salt, more, more, more salt, sorry, more salt. There is about, about that ferrous ammonium sulfate. What is that one? Ferrous ammonium sulfate. Ferrous ammonium sulfate means ferrous sulfate, ammonium sulfate and also water molecules. Here, the double salt means Two or more equal amount of salt. We have two or more salt coming to form double salt. Clear. Two or more salt. That is ferrous sulfate and ammonium sulfate. Combination we get double salt. Here, when we this double salt undergoes to treatment with a qualitative analysis, one of an analysis, we can we cannot we can find the which are the ion, which are the ion percent maybe. Yeah, free ions, ammonia ions, sulfate ions, etc. etc. ions we can be we can be identified. Okay, that's one of the qualitative analysis. Next about in the double salt, doubles uh, in the coordination compounds. For example, one of the complex I'm thinking about that potassium ferrocyanide, potassium K4, Fe, C and 6, potassium ferrocyanide. Here the potassium ferrocyanide, the first one is potassium. K, K plus potassium. Here we are seeing 4K plus potassium ferrocyanide. FeCN6, 4 minus. That FeCN6, 4 minus, we are saying about that is the coordination entity. The potassium is, we are saying about the counter ions. Which ions? The counter ions. So for the quality of the analysis, it can, uh, this coordination compound cannot be dissociated into ions. It's, it's ion, dissociated ions. Cannot be dissociated is ion. That is one one of the important points. Coordination compounds cannot dissociate its ion, but in double salt can be dissociated in ions into its ions. Okay, that is about the coordination compounds. Let us we can discuss one by one. We can discuss. Then only we can be understand. Okay, anyhow, Vernier theory of coordination compounds. Okay, Vernier theory of coordination compounds. What is about the Bernier theory? That is about the Alfred Bernier, one of the great scientists, okay, one of the great scientists. He postulate one theory, he postulate one of the important theory that is called Bernier theory. For this, he got a Nobel Prize in 1930. Okay, he got a Nobel Prize in 19. And also he found the, some structure of the compounds. He is the father of coordination compound. Okay. Who is the father of coordination compound? Alfred Bernier. That's a very important, a very important scientist. Okay. Very, very, very important scientist. About, let us consider the different colored compounds such as CO, uh, Cl3, uh, six molecules of ammonia. CO, Cl3, six molecules of ammonia. What's the color? Yellow color. Yellow color, okay. What's the color means? Yellow color, one very question. COCl3, five molecules of ammonia. It is a purple color. COCl3, six, four molecules of ammonia. It's a green, violet, etc. Here are some colors that will ask the one very question. Okay. 
and uh, you should be learn our today our learning objectives to learn about the vernier's theory our coordination compounds lesson vernier's theory one of the five mark question very very important five mark question today also i am giving the assignment also please write the assignment this question vernier's theory our aim is to learn this question vernier's theory here about the uh, about the limitation also having so two mark question this is also repeating board exam question so today you should be learn the vernier's theory okay, only five points postulate of vernier theory what is about the vernier theory the element exhibit the first two point the element exhibit two types of valency the element exhibit two types of valency what are they primary valency and secondary valency can you see the element exhibit two types of valency what are they primary valency and secondary valency what is about the primary valency primary valency is referred to as the oxidation state primary valency refers to as what oxidation state secondary valency referred to as a coordination number coordination number clear so two types of valency what are they primary valency and secondary valency primary valency referred to as a oxidation state the secondary valency referred to as a coordination number the primary valency of the metal ion is positive in most of the case sometimes it may be zero they are always satisfied by negative ions clear for example cocl3 nh3 six times here the primary valency of cobalt is plus 3 and it is satisfied by 3 cl minus ion okay the secondary valency is satisfied by negative ions neutral molecules are positive ions sometimes the combination of these ions for example cocl3 six molecules here the secondary valency is satisfied by a neutral molecule that is called ammonia okay then the fourth point is a important point the fourth point is we should be draw the structure about the fourth point there are two types of pair of attraction around the ion or atom there are two pair of attraction around the atoms or ions okay here the inner sphere and they both the outer sphere okay the inner sphere and about the outer sphere inner sphere we are saying about the coordination sphere what's about the inner sphere is about the coordination sphere what about the outer sphere it is about the ionization sphere we about the inner sphere the groups groups present in the sphere is firmly attached to the uh, metal you about the outer sphere the groups is present is loosely bound loosely bound to the metal ion clear yeah. there are two types of uh, about the direction nature the fifth point here the primary valency is non directional nature no direction while the secondary valency is directional nature this much is enough for the five mark okay only the five point we should be five, learn the five point is enough and draw the structure what is about the first point can you learn the first point the metal the metal exhibit where two types of valency what are they primary and secondary primary and secondary clear the primary valency is referred to as the coordination state the secondary valency is referred to as the oxidation state okay very very important point okay first point the primary valency of the metal ion is positive in most of the case some case it may be a negative they are always satisfied by negative ions here for example cocl3 six times of ammonia the primary valency of cobalt is plus 3 and it is satisfied by 3 cl minus ion here the two points about the third point the secondary valency is satisfied by negative or neutral molecules are positive are the combination of these all molecules for example cocl3 six types of molecules the secondary valency is satisfied by neutral molecules of ammonia the three points can you learn about the fourth point i told you about that 
there are two sphere of attraction around the metal ion okay two sphere around the metal ion one is inner and another one is the outer inner we are saying about the coordination sphere and outer we are saying the ionization sphere okay here the inner what is about that the groups present in the sphere is firmly attached to the where metal about the outer it is loosely bound loosely bound okay and about the direction primary valence have no directional nature the secondary valence have directional nature please uh, we can be draw the uh, about the inner sphere and the outer sphere okay very important you should be learn learn the which one is the primary valency okay primary valency i am giving the dotted line okay in the sphere i am giving dot line that is a three chloride chloride ion okay dot line cl cl dot line and about the secondary valency that is a solid line that is strong solid line for ammonium that is the center one of the uh, center cobalt i am writing about the secondary valency first i am writing the secondary valency there six molecules of ammonia is surrounded the last final the outer sphere i am writing the cl ions okay please all of you take the book take the note we can be write the structure okay as per the vernier's theory the complex can be explained that is co cl3 6 nh3 ammonia molecules okay how can we explain as per the inner and the outer sphere of attraction in coordination compound inner and the outer sphere of attraction in coordination compound this one of you this is a one of the metal this is the metal metal ion the metal ion we have two spheres or a sphere two sphere of attraction around the metal atom or ion there are two sphere okay this is imagine this is one of the sphere this is one of the sphere the next one is again one more sphere okay total how much sphere two spheres of attraction around the metal atom or ion in a complex the inner sphere is known as this is a inner sphere the inner sphere is known as coordination sphere which is sphere coordination sphere okay the outer sphere the outer sphere is known as ionization sphere inner sphere means which is that on coordination sphere and the outer is the ionization sphere you about the inner sphere what is about the special the character the group present in the sphere are firmly attached to the metal you about the outer sphere this is about the outer sphere here the groups present in this sphere are loosely bound okay loosely bound to the center metal ion Anyhow, we can be look the example about this. This one the example. How we explain the example means the central metal is called the cobalt. We are writing the cobalt. Okay, cobalt. We are writing cobalt. Cobalt. Okay, cobalt. Here, first one is a coordination sphere. Okay, that we told that inner sphere. Okay, inner sphere. Next about the ionization sphere. Okay, ionization sphere. Here, ammonia NH three. Okay, NH three ammonia. NH three ammonia. In this three ammonia. In this three ammonia. In this three ammonia. The solid light, okay, solid light, okay, ammonia. Next about 
a dot line refers to as a, here CL, CL lines, okay, CL lines. Next about that, CL lines, CL lines, okay. So how much cobalt is there? One cobalt. How much chlorine? Three chlorine. One, two, three. Okay, we can be say is the about the primary valency. The dotted line shows that the primary valency. One, two, three. Primary valency. About the secondary valency. Okay, about the secondary valency. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six secondary valency. Okay. As per this theory, about the vernier phosphate, about the cobalt chloride with six molecules of ammonia. Okay. Now we have to discuss about the some of the uh, complex secondary valency and about the ionizable number of ionizable valency and the number of ion non-ionizable valency in some complex. Okay, complex. One of the complex that is CO Cl3 six n is three. Okay. We can just take another one, the CO, Cl3, 5 NH3, clear? Next, the CO, Cl3, 4 NH3. Next, one more example, the CO, Cl3, 4 NH3. Next, about number of INA survey. Our number of non ionizable we can be take non ionizable non ionizable means what in inner coordination sphere okay non ionizable inner coordination sphere about the uh, ionizable outer coordination sphere Okay, how many non ionizable and how many uh, ionizable? Okay, the first one category. First one category is COCl3, 6 molecules of ammonia. Here having non ionizable means 6 ammonia. How much non ionizable? 6 non ionizable. Okay, inner, out, inner coordination sphere. Remind how much Cl is there? 3 Cl. Cl. This is about the outer coordination sphere. This is about the inner coordination sphere. We need six numbers, okay. Next about the second one. Five ammonia and also one Cl minus M. Okay, five here. Yeah. You should be right Cl minus M, okay. Cl minus M. Okay. And about here, the second one is five ammonia and one Cl minus M. Okay. Five NH3 and 1 Cl minus 1 then how much remaining out of 1 we get 2 2 Cl minus 1 that means number of non ionizable means 5 ammonia and also 1 chloride ion okay ionizable means 2 Cl minus 1 the second one the third one third one okay here also 2 ammonia and 2 Cl minus 1 that means 4 plus 2, 6. We need 6, 6, okay? That is 4 NH3 and 2 Cl minus M. So 4 plus 2, 6. Remaining, we have 1. 1 Cl minus M is ionizable. ionizable. Here also same like that only. 4 ammonia and 2 Cl minus M. 4 NH3 and 2 Cl minus 1. 4 plus 2, 6. That's the remaining one. 1 Cl minus 1. Okay. This is the following table. Illustrate the vernier postulation. Okay. Anyhow, vernier theory has some limitation. Limitation of vernier's theory. What are the limitation of vernier's theory? Limitation. 
he was he explained about the number of properties of quadration combo but he does not explain the color and the magnetic power man magnetic properties okay limitation anything have one limitation okay he does not explain the color and the magnetic property that is one of the limitation only does not explain does not explain the color their color and magnetic property okay this is one of the limitation this is for the two mark question here about the limitation vernier's theory was able to explain the number of properties of coordination combo he can explain the number of properties of coordination combo but he does not explain what he does not explain their color and the magnetic properties okay next about some uh, two mark questions coordination entity coordination entity okay coordination entity coordination entity means it is an ion or neutral molecule composed of a central atom okay clear the coordination a coordination entity means it is an ion one of an ion or neutral molecule composed the central atom the coordinate coordination entity is enclosed in the square bracket for example here we can write it as k4 fe cn6 this is one of the complex coordination complex this is one of an uh, cation this is one of an anionic complex for example you can be say k4 this gives 4k plus 4k plus plus f e c n 6 4 minus okay this is the complex i is into k plus plus and f e c n minus uh, c n 6 4 minus ion this is one of the uh, symbol ions okay symbol ion then this can be give symbol cation this is one of an ion this is complex anion okay complex anion symbol cation okay symbol cation complex anion here this is this is one of the complex here the coordination entity is enclosed in a square square enclosed in a square bracket okay enclosed in a square bracket this this one is called what coordination entity i wrote here this one i wrote here this is called what coordination entity clear can you understand what is about the coordination entity the coordination entity means it is enclosed in a square bracket that is f e c n 6 4 minus okay how we get 4 plus and how we get 4 minus i will explain later okay let's explain later now this is about the coordination entity then what is about the central atom or ion what is about the central atom or ion the central atom or ion is the one one that occupies the central position in the coordination entity the central position and binds other atom or group of atom to itself okay it throw a coordinate here yeah, throw a coordinate covalent bond for example k4 fe cn6 this is one of the complex this is the one of the complex here which one is the central metal atom this is which one is the central metal atom okay central metal 
Act up. The Fe, Fe is what? Central metal ion. Fe, Fe, Fe. Don't write Fe. Fe to bless. Okay? Which one is the coordination entity? This, this is a coordination entity. And which one is the central metal atom? Fe is the central metal atom. The central metal ion can be written as Fe2 plus. Okay. How will we get 2 plus means? I will tell you about the charge that calculation have it. First to understand, try to understand that which one is the central metal atom or central metal ion. The central metal ion is Fe2 plus. Which one is the coordination entity? This is the coordination entity. Here, Fe2 plus accept an electron pair from the ligon. Okay. Here, Fe2 plus ion accept an electron pair from each ligon. What is ligon means? Cn is the ligon. Okay. The Cn is attached. I will explain next one. Next one is the ligon. Cn will be attached to the central, always attached to the central metal ion. Okay, clear. Therefore, here, how much covalent covalent bond is? There are six covalent covalent bond. How much covalent covalent bond? Covalent coordinate covalent bond. Six coordinate covalent bond. Okay. Here, what is the function of the central metal ion means? The central metal ion has the ability to accept an electron pair. This is one of the one word question. What is the function means? In the central metal ion has the ability to accept an electron pairs. It refers to as a Lewis acid. Okay. Lewis acid. Okay. Here, uh, it has an ability to accept an electron pairs. It refers to as a Lewis acid. What is about the ligon? Okay, next we can be uh, learn about the ligon. One of the complex K4. Fe is Cn6. Okay. This is a simple cation. Complex anion. Okay. Simple cation. K4 means simple cation. And the complex Fe Cn minus 4 minus 6 complex anion. Okay. Here you have. I told you that this one is what? Central metal ion. Fe2 plus is the central metal ion. Which one is the ligon? Cn. Okay. Which one is the ligon? Cn is the ligon. Clear? Cn is the, Cn minus Cn is the ligon. How look? We can be given one definition. What is about the ligon? The ligon means the ligon or the atoms. Ligon means what? One of an atoms. Are groups of an atom. Ligon means an atom or a group of atoms. Clear? What do you understand? What is about ligon? Ligon means it may be on atoms or a group of atoms. Bound, bound to the central metal ion or atom. It will be attached to the central metal ion. Clear? What is ligon? Ligon means it may be an atoms or a group of atoms bound to the central metal ion. The atom of the ligon is bounded directly to the central metal ion is known as donor atom. Okay, clear? The atom of the ligon is bound directly to the central metal atom or known as donor atom. For example, K4, Fe, Cn6. Which one is a ligon? Cn minus is ligon. No, ligon is. What is ligon? Cn minus. What is ligon? Cn minus is the ligon. Okay. Next about the coordination sphere. Okay. Next about what? The coordination sphere. Okay, first we will learn about the coordination sphere. Here, the complex ion of the coordination compound containing central metal atom. Okay, central metal atom. For example, K4, Fe, Cn6. Okay, this is one of the complex. The complex ion of a coordination compound containing central metal atom or ion 
the ligand is attached to it is collectively called coordination sphere this is the coordination sphere what is a coordination sphere f e c n 6 okay f e c n 6 time is the what coordination sphere okay. and it is usually enclosed in the square bracket enclosed in the square bracket with the net charge having one charge okay the other ionizable ions are return in the outside of the square bracket there one of an ion this is one of an ion this ion c is right on the outside the square bracket it may be on the left side or maybe on the right side anyhow as per here k4 fcn molecules have the k4 ion c is right on the left side so it is called as what counter ion which ion the k4 is called what counter ion Here we have. This is what CN is what ligand. The ligand is attached to the central metal ion F2 plus, and totally this is called what coordination sphere. Here we have one more ion is present. We have present on the outside the sphere. Okay, that is called what coordination coordinate. That's sorry. That is called counter ion. Which ion? Counter ion here. And the com coordination compound K4 FeCN6 contains. The complex FeCN minus four minus, and it is referred to as a coordination sphere. The other, the other which is another, the K four is other, is associated with K plus. This is associated with K plus is called counter ion. Which ion? Counter ion. Here. Yeah. Next about the coordination polyhedron. coordination polyhedron here here about the coordination polyhedron three dimensional spatial arrangement of ligand atoms that are directly attached to the central metal ion atoms are known as coordination polyhedron for example k4 fe cn6 this is one of the complex one of the complex okay the coordination polyhedron is a octahedral okay the coordination polyhedra is what octahedral the coordination polyhedra of a ni one more example ni co6 sorry ni co4 types is a tetrahedral six means don't forget that is octahedral number six means octahedral the four means what tetra uh, tetrahedral okay next next about the coordination number we can be learn about the coordination number the coordination number how can you find out the coordination number okay one of the example that we am taking f k4 f c c n Six. Okay, this is the coordination number. For this complex, six is the coordination number. Okay, that how can you say means the coordination number of F two plus is six. Okay, in this complex, in this complex, the coordination number of F two plus is six. You should be write like that only. Okay, don't write six. For in this complex, the coordination number of F two plus F e two plus is what six, okay? F e two plus is six. Then we can give a definition. What is the definition means? The number of ligand donor atom, ligand donor atom bonded to the central metal ion in a complex. What is the definition? The number of ligand donor atom, the number of ligand ligand donor atom. Is bound to the central metal ion in a complex is called what? Is a coordination number. Okay, is a coordination number. In other words, the coordination number is equal to the number of sigma bond. Okay, between ligand and central metal atom. Here, in other words, the coordination number is equal to equal to the number of sigma bond between where? 
ligand and central atom. Here, Fe2 plus containing how much ligand? 6 ligand. The 6 ligands are bonded. When bonded in different direction. So we are giving what? Number 6. So we clear. Next of all, the oxidation state. Oxidation state. Already we learn about the oxidation state. Okay. Now again we are going to learn about the oxidation state. Oxidation state. Okay. First, I am giving the example how to find out the example means there one formula. One how how can we find out the formula means one of the net charge. One of the net charge is equal to oxidation state of the central metal plus number of ligand into charge of charge on the ligand. Okay. Is what? Oxidation. state of the central metal okay oxidation state of the central metal plus number of ligand oxidation state of the central metal plus number of ligand into charge charge on the ligand This is one of the formula. Okay. How can we find out the oxidation number? How can we oxidation state in Fe? Fe Cn64 minus. How will you find out the oxidation state for this Fe? Okay. We can be taken as X. We don't know about that. So we are taking uh, X. What is the net charge? What is the net charge of this complex? 4 minus here. The net charge minus 4. Okay, 4 minus here, right? Minus 4 equal to, we don't know, so if we are taking as x. x plus, how much ligand is there? 6. Okay, so cyanide, it has one value, Cn, Cn have value is minus 1. Okay. Cn is minus 1 of Cn. Cn is having, I will give the value, Cn is having minus 1 value. So, 6 into minus 1. Okay. Here, 6 into minus 1. Here, can you understand? First, you write the charge. Total, how much charge is there? Minus 4. You write the minus 4. You don't know Fe, so you are writing there as X. How much Cn is there? 6 Cn. 1 Cn value is minus 1. So 6 into minus 1. So can you say what is the answer? Minus 4 x x minus 6. So how do you write? x is equal to 6 minus 4. x is equal to plus 2. What is the charge? Plus 2. Clear. So we are writing Fe, Fe2 plus, Fe2 plus, what is the charge? Fe, Fe2 plus. Okay. With the charge is what? Plus 2. So I have a idea, Fe2 plus. Clear, can you understand? So we have a lot of area uh, having, it should be right. Next about the types of complex. Okay, types of complex. The okay, types of complex. Here we can uh, types of complex means cationic complex, anionic complex, uh, neutral complex. Okay, types of the complex means classification based on the net charge classification based on the net charge of the complex we can be classified into three types what are they one cationic complex cationic complex number two anionic complex third one is neutral complex this 
is a very, uh, three types of complex. Okay. For example, cationic complex means it have it, it, the, the coordination unit must have a plus charge. Okay, plus charge means we are saying cationic complex. Here, plus charge we are saying cationic complex. For example, cobalt NH3 6 plus. Okay, okay, plus we are writing, we are writing should be right, plus 3. Cobalt. Okay. Cobalt, this is one of the complex, cobalt, here ammonia 6 plus 3, it's having plus charge, so we are saying cationic complex. Suppose it having negative charge, negative charge, anionic complex, FeCn6, 6, 4 minus. Negative charge, so we are saying anionic complex. Here, yeah? negative complex. Suppose there is no charge, no charge, Ni. CO 4 times no charge no charge we are saying neutral charge here cationic complex means it must contain one of the positive charge the coordination entity having the coordination entity having plus charge that is called what cationic complex the quality entity the net charge we having negative so we are saying anion there is no charge no charge means what is we are saying Neutral charge, okay. Neutral charge, clear? Okay. Anyhow, we, today we discuss about the Vernier's theory. Uh, uh, Vernier's theory next about the types of ligon. What are about the ligon? Coordination entity. Central metal ion, sphere, uh, coordination polyhedron, coordination number, oxidation state, and the very important question is the types of complex. Types of complex. Okay. These are questions we learn. So, all of you should learn that one. And anyhow, today our assignment is uh, postulate of Fermi's theory. Okay. Postulate of Fermi's theory. This is the assignment. Please write the assignment. Thank you all of you. Thank you. Have a nice day.